Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are going to have a look at different ways to compare f-strings. This is going to be a real short video, but also important to understand how comparing strings works. So let's get started. So in our IDE I prepared three strings, one Unreal, one Engine and Unreal with a different casing. And let's compare different string comparison functions, no pun intended, but let's, there are three different ways to compare strings. Actually there are two, but let's have a look at them. So first f-string has overridden the equals operator. So let's say if we say, or let's add them to a bool is equal. And let's say test string one equals test string two. And if we take that example from last time, let's call this output and copy this from string output and our boolean value, let's say, is equal. So this should mean that you're comparing Unreal to Engine and it's supposed to be false. And let's compile this and test this out. So let's hit play, click execute, and it says false, like we expected it to be. And let's compare string one with three. If you're maybe coming from C sharp and you're comparing strings, you might think that Unreal and Unreal now are different so that the output should be also false. Let's compile and have a look. Let's go to Unreal, hit play, hit execute, and it says true. So they are equal. So why is that? Let's stop, let's have a look. And inside, if you're looking at the overwritten equals equals, then we can see that inside the implementation, it uses the equals function, which is another way for comparison, which I wanted to introduce in a second. But you can see that the search case is ignore case. So it's case insensitive that if you're comparing strings with the equal operator, then you're always comparing to ignore case. And if you want to compare with ignore case, or that you compare it with case sensitive, then what you can do is say test string one equals test string two, and type in the E search case of case sensitive. And if we are doing this now, compile this, then as we should expect, it should be false. It should be not equal. Let's hit play, hit execute, false. So this is the important thing that I wanted to show with the equals operator that you can see that it's really ignore case. There are also possibilities in here to compare with T char arrays. So there are a wide range of possibilities. And then there is a, another one which you can use equals returns true and false. And then there is like the possibility to get a integer back. There is a function in here we can say in 32 is equal to and say test string one dot compare. Let's say test string two. And it also has the E search case, which is case sensitive by default. We can make it case sensitive or ignore case, for example. And this returns, let's have a look inside. This returns basically zero if it's equal negative if it's less than and positive if the string is greater than, lexographically meaning the way that they're comparing things. So this is actually it. So as a recap, you have the equals equals operator, you have the equals method, and you can use the compare method to compare strings. Three possibilities, but like I mentioned, the equals equals actually calls the equals method and with case with ignore case. So that's the most important thing to remember. If you're using equals equals, it's ignoring the case. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. 
I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.